murder and kill blindly. What is the soul of me? They scar the lands of England. Lands they will never defend. Never love. The time has come to speak to them in a language they will understand. This is a time of conquest, the age of Vikings. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you play as Eivor, the fierce Viking warchief of the Raven Clan. Eivor and their kin have forged into England to settle the new frontiers. But these are dangerous times and each new landscape contains untold perils and mysteries to uncover. Your saga begins with a simple need for a home. Your Viking settlement is the beating heart of your adventure and is the intersecting point for many of Valhalla's interwoven storylines. Here, you'll get familiar with your clan and begin your journey through England. At the Alliance map, you'll meet Ranvi, the clan's key intel gatherer, and plan your first moves. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. By forging alliances with different territories, the Raven clan will expand their influence, allowing you to grow your settlement and open a wealth of new narrative arcs, missions, activities, and ways to experience the game world. Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. Each of England's kingdoms have many stories to uncover, with their own unique plot lines, casts of characters, and challenges to overcome. Are you Sigurd Dranger? Eivor. If you keep that up, 
stain the floors. Including assassinating targets, forging allies, and assaulting rivals in large scale battles. These story arcs explore the themes of honor, glory, leadership, and choice that are central to Eivor's journey. And your pivotal choices will leave long-lasting impacts across the kingdoms. Three men, three possible futures. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? Viking warfare is visceral and brutal. And there are many powerful rivals and enemy types that will stand in your way. Thankfully, Eivor is equipped with a diverse set of combat skills, including brute strength charging maneuvers, close quarters melee attacks, and explosive two-handed finishes. While range abilities like Man's Best Friend and Poison Powder Trap allow you to flank and interrupt your foes from a distance. Your skills are upgraded through a progression system which allows you to unlock perks and abilities to suit your style of play. Special abilities are found in books of knowledge hidden throughout the world and have their own upgrade tiers that improve their power and effectiveness. As you forge deeper on your journey, your explorations will reward you with exotic gear from the far corners of the world, further unlocking combat options and dual wield combinations, including the legendary Excalibur. Choice is central to Valhalla's player experience, and that begins with Eivor. At the start of your adventure, you'll have the opportunity to choose Eivor's gender, and you can seamlessly swap between male and female Eivor at any time during your story. And so I race my horn to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. After a victory, you return home with resources pillaged from your conquests using them to expand your settlement with structures and upgrades. There's a wide variety of structures to build, each with their own unique gameplay systems and perks. The barracks allow you to elect a Jomsviking, which is a powerful Viking lieutenant, and build a custom crew of raiders to ride with, which are shared with your friends online. Gunnar the blacksmith enhances weapons and gear, and at the tattooist, you'll customize Eivor's look at the shipyard, Gudrun and Gudmund will customize and improve your longship. And in the Hidden Ones Bureau, you will work from the shadows, embroiling yourself in a mysterious conflict with the Order of the Ancients. We have work to do, starting in the cities of England. Our task will not be an easy one. These are just a few examples and there's plenty more fun to be had around your settlement. Drink your weight in ale, play a game of Orlog, or throw a massive Viking feast. However, growth comes with its own set of dangers, and your settlement will become the target of new enemy factions. The septic rot has overtaken this shire. <laughs> Valhalla's world is built for a wandering spirit. You'll uncover deeper layers to Eivor's own story in a set of dramatic and intimate narrative through lines. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have. There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Player choice is woven through every facet of the game experience. And as you continue to explore, you'll uncover new stories and epiphanies in the most unlikely places. Drink, if you seek true understanding. But this world is just the beginning. Balka, the clan seer, will unlock your senses, allowing you to leap beyond. To Asgard, the legendary realm of Norse myth. From Norway to England, to new worlds, Assassin's Creed Valhalla allows you to experience your own elemental Viking saga. The thrill of discovery, the glory of victory, and the light of kinship. A journey beyond kingdoms and into the soul of a warrior.
when we were forsaken by starvation and death. The gods showed us a vision of a new life and gave us the power to claim it. watch as we show them Assassin's Creed Valhalla's ambitious post-launch plan features a season pass that includes two massive expansions and a bonus quest Additionally, all Valhalla players will receive free seasonal content. This is a plan that has been simmering in the back of our heads for a long time. We want to help you further dive into the Viking fantasy. The first expansion, Wrath of the Druids, will be coming out early spring 2021, and it will take you on a journey to Ireland as you entangle and try to unravel mysteries of an ancient druid cult. Within Wrath of the Druids, you will get to fight the children of Dano Cult, who discover who their members are, hunt them down, and fight them. You will get to conquer ring forts, and also influence the trading systems of Dublin, which at the time was a bustling trading metropolis. On top of all the majestic locations that the expansion will feature in Ireland, the highlight here really is for the players that are more interested in the Celtic, the Druids, and those darker tones that really add to a mysterious feeling of the expansion. The second expansion, coming out early summer 2021, is probably one of the most recognizable events in Viking history. The Siege of Paris will have you explore war-torn Francia as you encounter historical figures you will enjoy new replayable activities where you will battle and raid the elite units of Charles the Fat. Within the Siege of Paris, you will get to infiltrate, create alliances, and try to conquer Paris from within. Both expansions will be included in the Season Pass. If you bought the Gold Edition or the Ultimate Edition, they will be included within it, as well as the bonus mission, The Legend of Beowulf. Three times these attacks have happened. Bite marks, broken bones, and streaks of mold. This is not the work of a woodland preacher. No mortal hand could rend flesh in such a way. Surely you see that. What sort of beast leaves glistening mold or a freshly killed prey? Free seasonal contents are free, accessible to all player content that we're going to deliver throughout the journey of AC Vala. Our first pre-seasonal content will be kicked off by the Yule Festival taking place in the settlement of Ivor. This event will be available to players late 2020. And I would say the most ambitious part of the seasonal content comes with the game modes. Early in the past launch, we'll release our first game mode, which is the River Raid. River Raid capitalizes on the core fantasy of the raiding mechanic in the main game, injects much more risk and reward within a different context, and also capitalizes a lot on a feature dear to us, which is the Jumps Viking. Players are able to actually hire Jumps Viking from their friends online and take an entire crew. We plan to have four of those free seasonal content injected in the first year. Expect all of them to contain new festivals within the settlement, events, new progression, skills, new gears, new adventures, and gameplay. Last but not least, it is my pleasure to tell you guys that there will be a discovery tour for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We will reveal more details later, but I am excited to share that, yes, it is happening. We can't wait for you to experience how this content will evolve the experience and the memorable character of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We just really hope to entertain you as you write your own Viking saga. They are heartless. Godless barbarians. Murder 
and kill blindly. They scar the lands of England. Lands they will never defend. Never love. The time has come to speak to them in a language they will understand. This is a time of conquest, the age of Vikings. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you play as Eivor, the fierce Viking war chief of the Raven Clan. Eivor and their kin have forged into England to settle the new frontiers. But these are dangerous times and each new landscape contains untold perils and mysteries to uncover. Your saga begins with a simple need for a home. Your Viking settlement is the beating heart of your adventure and is the intersecting point for many of Valhalla's interwoven storylines. Here, you'll get familiar with your clan and begin your journey through England. At the Alliance map, you'll meet Randvi, the clan's key intel gatherer, and plan your first moves. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. By forging alliances with different territories, the Raven Clan will expand their influence, allowing you to grow your settlement and open a wealth of new narrative arcs, missions, activities, and ways to experience the game world. Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. Each of England's kingdoms have many stories to uncover, with their own unique plot lines, casts of characters, and challenges to overcome. Are you Sigurd Drenger? Eivor. If you keep that up, 
I'll stay in the floors. Including assassinating targets, forging allies, and assaulting rivals in large-scale battles. These story arcs explore the themes of honor, glory, leadership, and choice that are central to Eivor's journey. And your pivotal choices will leave long-lasting impacts across the kingdoms. Three men, three possible futures. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? Viking warfare is visceral and brutal, and there are many powerful rivals and enemy types that will stand in your way. Thankfully, Eivor is equipped with a diverse set of combat skills, including brute strength charging maneuvers, close quarters melee attacks, and explosive two-handed finishes, while range abilities like Man's Best Friend and Poison Powder Trap allow you to flank and interrupt your foes from a distance. Your skills are upgraded through a progression system, which allows you to unlock perks and abilities to suit your style of play. Special abilities are found in books of knowledge, hidden throughout the world, and have their own upgrade tiers that improve their power and effectiveness. As you forge deeper on your journey, your explorations will reward you with exotic gear from the far corners of the world, further unlocking combat options and dual wield combinations, including the legendary Excalibur. Choice is central to Valhalla's player experience, and that begins with Eivor. At the start of your adventure, you'll have the opportunity to choose Eivor's gender, and you can seamlessly swap between male and female Eivor at any time during your story. And so I race my horn to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. After a victory, you return home with resources pillaged from your conquests, using them to expand your settlement with structures and upgrades. There's a wide variety of structures to build, each with their own unique gameplay systems and perks. The barracks allow you to elect a Jomsviking, which is a powerful Viking lieutenant, and build a custom crew of raiders to ride with, which are shared with your friends online. Gunnar the blacksmith enhances weapons and gear, and at the Tattooist, you'll customize Eivor's look. At the shipyard, Gudrun and Gudmund will customize and improve your longship. And in the Hidden Ones Bureau, you will work from the shadows, embroiling yourself in a mysterious conflict with the Order of the Ancients. We have work to do, starting in the cities of England. Our task will not be an easy one. These are just a few examples, and there's plenty more fun to be had around your settlement. Drink your weight in ale, play a game of Orlog, or throw a massive Viking feast. However, growth comes with its own set of dangers, and your settlement will become the target of new enemy factions. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. <laughs> Valhalla's world is built for a wandering spirit. You'll uncover deeper layers to Eivor's own story in a set of dramatic and intimate narrative through lines. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have. There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Player choice is woven through every facet of the game experience. And as you continue to explore, you'll uncover new stories and epiphanies in the most unlikely places. Drink, if you seek true understanding. But this world is just the beginning. Valka, the clan seer, will unlock your senses, allowing you to leap beyond. To Asgard, the legendary realm of Norse myth. From Norway to England, to new worlds, Assassin's Creed Valhalla allows you to experience your own elemental Viking saga. The thrill of discovery, the glory of victory, and the light of kinship. A journey beyond kingdoms and into the soul of a warrior. 
When we were forsaken by starvation and death, the gods showed us a vision of a new life and gave us the power to claim it. watch as we show them they are heartless godless barbarians Blindly. What is the soul of they scar the lands of England. Lands they will never defend. Never love. The time has come to speak to them in a language they will understand. What's up, everybody? Damon Hatfield here. Now, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will be available on November 10th on Xbox Series X and Xbox One. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is optimized for Xbox Series X, including supporting 4K resolution at 60 frames per second, and it leverages smart delivery, allowing access to both the Xbox One title and Xbox Series X title when available. But today, we're getting a sneak peek at Valhalla of it. Joining me on this journey is my good pal, Max Scoville. Max, what's up? Hey, good morrow, good sir. How do you do? 
I do very well. <laughs> I do very well. Uh, I'm, I'm jealous that you've uh, have been getting some hands-on time with Assassin's Creed Valhalla already. I love this series. Now, tell me a little bit about your uh, experience with the Assassin's Creed franchise. Um, so I've... I, w I would say I kind of, I dabble, you know, like I'm usually sort of the, the first thing that appeals to me is uh, is the setting historically. Um, so I'll, I'll tend to jump into historical settings that really, that really grab me. I, I really loved Origins. I love the full sort of, um, you know, the, the scale of the open worlds, which is um, always good. And I was, I'm usually not a Vikings guy, but my time with this game has completely kind of sucked me into it. So I'm, hmm. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited as well. Um, you've been playing for a couple hours already. Uh, have you found that your, uh, your your choices are meaningful and actually impact the overall game? So yeah, definitely. I have. Uh, I did a preview earlier this summer, which was like a, actually a couple a couple of them, which were way later in the game, and it was you know they kind of set you up to take you to a few different sort of uh, crucial, I guess, pa like crossroads that you encounter, uh, and it's. You know, we're sort of accustomed to video games to like, oh, you know, you get to the boss and then you beat the boss and that's it. But in this mm. case, it's like, do you kill the boss or do you let the boss live? And uh, there's definitely that kind of sense of, of buyer's remorse of like, which way do you go? Uh, and there's there's tons of dialogue options left and right. And something I very much appreciate is that uh, this isn't the type of game that just tells you like, so-and-so will remember that. It's very mm. much like every choice you make might be, you know, that might be butterfly effect stuff. So uh, there's some... There's some big stakes here too. This is a this is a you know massive game. Um, and you're also, which is something that's very cool, is that you're playing on an Xbox Series X uh, today. Uh, you know, a couple of weeks before the system is out. How has that been? Uh, just <laughs> buttery smooth, uh, <laughs> very fast. Uh, I am, I I honestly feel like I am just like pouring ketchup packets on a beautiful steak because I'm playing it on like a very small TV. So if I seem like I'm squinting, uh, it's because I'm not taking full advantage of, of how much of a, you know, resolution this, this could be outputting, but, uh, it looks incredible. It runs really smooth. Uh, I wish I could hold up the series X, but I don't want to drop it. And it's also, you know, it's a it's kind of a beast. So sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're, we're going to jump into some gameplay in just a minute. But first, let's find out a bit more about Assassin's Creed Valhalla. One huge part of Assassin's Creed Valhalla is the Viking settlement Ravensthorpe. The whole reason the game is set in England is because the Vikings came here to build a new life, and the settlement is a representation of that. All the loot and riches Ivor's Horde gets from raids and missions can be spent improving the settlement. Just a few of the many choices you can make in this in-depth RPG that will greatly impact the game. Home is where the heart is, or if you're a Viking, where the hearth is. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is bringing back the beloved settlement building mechanic and overhauling it so you can transform your tiny village into a sprawling settlement worthy of the name Ravensthorpe. So grab an axe and hoist your sails, we're headed to ancient Britain. Presented by Assassin's Creed Valhalla, available November 10th on Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Xbox One. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, returning home is more than licking your wounds and taking on new quests. The settlement building mechanic allows you to foster a thriving community that grows based on the choices you make. Not a fan of the barren town center? Liven things up with some cosmetic architecture like a stone well, archery targets for the gang, or even a hollowed monolith. But settlement building isn't just about tidying things up. Fortifying Ravensthorpe adds a number of vendors, quests, and other mechanics to Valhalla. Take this fisherman family, for example. Tell me about what you do. Love it if you could build something. They're more than willing to pay you for the daily catch, but before they can, you'll need to construct a shop for them to do business in, which is where you come in as the leader of Ravensthorpe. Gather enough supplies to meet the building cost requirements and build this family a fishing hut. Doing so will allow you to sell your fish for precious rewards like weapon and armor schemes. Now this is a worthy catch. Other settlement upgrades include a blacksmith for enhancing and upgrading all your gear to include stat bumps, new rune slots, and even cosmetic updates that'll help that superior Raven Clan helmet live up to its namesake. And some Ravensthorpe upgrades like the Seer's Hut will grant Eivor access to mythological missions that allow you to explore the more fantastic elements of Viking culture. Other huts also unlock secret missions that will transport you to America. But what's a Viking without a sleek longship? We have quite an eye for these things. A visit to the shipyard will allow you to customize your ship figurehead, shields, sail, and more. 
Maybe you want to spend time working on yourself? Personalize Eivor to fit your style with a visit to the Settlement's Tattoo Shop to throw on some fresh ink worthy of a Viking leader. If you need something tattooed, you come here and I do it. Then clean things up, or not, and change up your hairstyles. These deep cosmetic choices ensure that every Eivor is unique to the player. Or build a legion of mercenaries known as Yams Vikings. A few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one. Each member can be customized to your heart's content, from the armor and weapons they use down to their physical appearance. And once you finish customizing your Yams Viking, you'll be able to share Vilgerder the Stink Armed with friends or take her into battle. <laughs> they grow up so fast. Ravensthorpe is what you make it, growing alongside you as you venture through ancient Britain, transforming this humble hamlet into a sprawling settlement that's a home away from home. How will you build Ravensthorpe? <laughs> Assassin's Creed Valhalla will be available November 10th on Xbox Series X, Series S, and Xbox One. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Valhalla is optimized for Xbox Series X, including supporting 4K resolution at 60 frames a second, and it leverages smart delivery, allowing access to both the Xbox One title and Xbox Series X title when available. Write your Viking saga on Xbox Series X. I cannot wait to build out Ravensthorpe, but here it is. Assassin's Creed Valhalla running on an Xbox Series X. Max, where are we in the game so far? So uh, that Ravensthorpe video was a bit of a spoiler because we haven't quite gotten there yet. We are actually Oof. still in Norway. This is, this is very early in the game, so if you're trying to avoid spoilers, uh, worry not. Uh, I will say, without kind of going into too much detail, that Eivor uh, has acquired the hidden blade of Assassin's Creed fame. Uh, mm -hmm. I, you can you can kind of see it there on, on her wrist. Uh, one thing that's interesting here is that Eivor can be male or female. You can kind of select that accordingly, uh, but you can also let the Animus choose. You know, obviously it's Assassin's Creed, so you're in this, uh, you know, sort of, you know, virtual uh, recreation of history. And in this case, there's like overlapping strands of DNA. And I'm, I'm interested to see how that comes into play uh, later on, but basically, the animus will represent whichever version of the that signal is strongest. So basically, you have you, it'll it'll be swapping between, and you can you can change along the way. So uh, I guess in this case, gender is sort of it's cosmetic. But if you're mm -hmm. if you want things that are actively affecting stuff, there is tons of armor and customization and stats for all that. Uh, now I am about to go and sort of encounter one of the first kind of big bad guys, who is this. Uh, he's the leader of a rival Viking clan named uh, Kjotve, which I'm probably mispronouncing, <laughs> but uh, could be Norse. <laughs> um, and so, basically, yeah, so... Catch us up to speed. What, what have we missed? What have you done so far? So it's it's pretty it's like pretty early on basically um these this is this is viking town this is this is norway this is uh you know the land of uh fjords and nords and uh there are different you know viking clans and as you can see this isn't really you know this isn't really greener pastures um and eivor you know some sort of introductory familial stuff and a little bit of kind of a crash course in the you know viking politics but uh, you get the sense that sort of resources are scarce. Uh, and then Eivor's brother Sigurd uh, comes comes home from travels far and wide and, uh, you know, basically is like, hey, uh, the grass is greener. There's a lot of really nice stuff out there. Like we're, you know, we've come back with riches and all sorts of stuff. And, oh, by the way, these these uh, interesting folks that I've been traveling with have a, a clever mechanism you might be interested in. And that's, of course, the, the hidden blade. And mm. basically they're like, you know what, this... This Kjotve guy, we're not wild about him. Let's go. Let's go steal his stuff. Let's go raid his uh, his supplies. So that's what we're doing right now, and we're just kind of cruising along with our with our crew. Look at the water. Yeah, it looks great, right? Yeah, I mean, this, there's like some a little bit chop, you know. <laughs> Man, I love the the mountains look great in the backgrounds. Yeah, honestly, like I, I'm really I'm really keen on exploring. Uh, Britain, you know, like that's, I think mm -hmm. that's the thing that's really exciting to me because um, I, I don't know, like we're, we're heading into winter season and, you know, we are in sunny California, but at the same time, I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go hang out in, in you know, snow country, but uh, ex exploring like a green sort of, you know, wide open sort of woodland area sounds mm -hmm. like a good time to me. All right. Oh, that, that's not, sorry. Hold on. Let me just park. <laughs> just let me hop, get out of the boat. All right. All right. We're going to do some pillaging. Yeah, we're gonna kind of dock here and just go and there's there's it's very possible there's a spot over there where it's a much more dramatic entrance, but for the sake of 
be sneaking in here. Let's go see what's up. Uh, let's actually take a little look here with our our raven. Uh, so yeah, here, this is... That's where we want to go, the blue thing. There are little yellow things everywhere which uh, symbolize wealth because the whole time, as we sort of learn with the, the settlement stuff, you're trying to sort of get your get your home your your home camp base whatever uh you know up to speed and really trying to outfit all of that so you know the whole time you're sort of constantly pillaging like anytime you see a you know a pot or a chest or whatever you're going to be trying to steal gold out of it and yeah like you can you know you can obviously do the uh you know sneaky stealthy assassin's creed stuff but also like you're a you're a viking warrior so you can also you know take a axe to someone's face that's that's a big part of this as is Viking tradition. Exactly, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, they're mad. Uh, and, of course, there's our Do you Do you start off with this bow? Bow and arrow? Yeah, you start out with the bow. Um, the little glowing spots there are... Oh, I keep doing there's, a, there's an awesome stun attack you can do. Um, yeah, you start out with the bow. You gradually get an axe. You know, you kind of... It's, you know, you, it... it you know, shows you what you're doing. It's not it doesn't completely throw you in to the deep end. Um, but yeah, the, as you can see, this and this is also like like really pretty early on. And there's a I haven't started really going into the skill tree too far. Um, but you know, you can you can optimize your stealth. Or I'm on fire. I need to just not do that. <laughs> How am I doing? Yep. Um. And there's, you know, tons of weapon customization. Like, you can add runes and, you know, upgrades and all that. There's blacksmiths. Um, and so your your fellow Vikings are, are helping you out with this pillage mission? Yeah, they're out kind of burning wagons and, you know, getting in fights and whatnot. What am I doing? I'm very stupid there. Okay. Oh, should I... Uh oh, oh I'm, I did not prepare for this at all. Um, one thing that's interesting is your health does not replenish automatically. Um, you need to make sure you go into battle with lots of snacks. You know, you have like a little a little pouch for rations, and so you if you remember to pick berries. They sort of act as your your uh, healing items. That's interesting. So you, you can just like find uh, berries out in the out in the wild. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I totally um, I I might have gone in a little bit too bullheaded here. <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm used to I'm used to playing sort of later later demos of this game where there's a little more unlock so i'm still kind of green here uh but yeah i mean it's it's it changes your your entire approach because if you you know if you assume that if you hide in a bush for 20 minutes and you uh heal that it's not the case here <laughs> do you like playing stealthily in games just in general i am i am like quiet until i'm loud you know the second yeah. that the alarm bells go off i'm like all right let's get messy yeah. um yeah. But, you know, it's, it is always fun to sort of feel like a, a sneaky predator and just get in there. Uh, not really. Okay, so we got to find the supply wagons. The second these guys stop yelling at me. Do we have a bead on where the supply wagons are? Let's, let's check in with our... Bird friend. Okay. Well, I don't know why. There's that one guy. I was like, let's follow him. He's still alive somehow. That's which is which is weird. Um, the lucky man. Is that one of them right there? I think. Or is that me? Let's find out. They're just. I mean, they're really just burning everything, which is. It's nice. It's good. It's good. Fucking action. They're here. thorough. They're thorough Vikings. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, there's Sigurd. Where am I going? Oh, I think. This way. Here we go. And this is basically the sort of very early staging area, um, you know, before you fully get out into the... Oh! Oof, things are very bad for me right now. I might need to go and find some berries. Are there berries in the here? Really just not not really showcasing the, you know, epic Viking warrior stuff that <laughs> people might want to see, but it, it, I swear I'll get better. I, I promise. Uh-oh. Our ships oh, here. No. I like the, Reinforcements. I like those, yeah. I like those sails, though. Those are nice. Have you gotten a sense that uh, ship-to-ship combat is part of this no. game? 
Not so much. I don't think that's uh, as big of a deal here. I think it's more, you know, it's just a way of, of kind of carrying your entire crew around with you. That's the big thing is that you, you know, you kind of roll deep. You have a whole Viking horde and a lot of the... Um, a lot of the traversal around uh, around Britain once we get there is um... Hail Raventine. oh here we go you Gotham Gotham the Wise. Who are you, Gester? Name so we don't know who this is. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did indeed. I am Guthor. I'm gonna I'm gonna uncle to burn through this a little bit so we can get to this the axe stuff. Uncle. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, here we have one of the one of the choices. Um, mm. You can be rude. Uh, let's be. You know what? Let's be sassy. Let's see where that takes us. Okay. It is a shame, great king, that you came all this way to offer aid. That's not a thing a king would want to hear. Strongly disagree, And now this Sigurd is, is mad at us. So. Okay. One thing. Okay, so we have a we have a new quest here. Let's. Uh... So we're gonna speak to Sigurd. Um, let's do some skill stuff real quick. Uh, so I got a stop attack. I think some health would be very helpful here. And do a little bit in ranged. So yeah, as you can see, this is, you know, the more the more points you put into each skill tree, the more you're gonna get. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, okay, so and there's different different gear that supports different um ooh, different playstyles. I think I'm going to be doing some Berserker stuff. Very nice. Oh yes. Oh yeah. No yeah. This is what we. This is what we're all about. We get bear hats. You know that uh, the word Berserker is. Uh, it's from the word for bear bear shirt because this is Berserkers used to wear bear skins into battle. I did not know that. Yeah. That's a fun fact. That is a that is a little bit of uh, Viking lore for you or history, I guess, as it's known because it happened. <laughs> Oh boy, I just got more skill points there. Okay. Um, Another skill points. Okay, so what are we up to now? We need to go talk to Sigurd again. Yeah, we're heading up here. Nice. <laughs> Way up here, just up in this nice office. Hey, Lord, you missed the opening act. Kurtve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? <laughs> so I have the uh, the ultimate edition of the game, which has some some bonus bits and pieces, and I you think and I think everything just finished installing and downloading. Harold's forces nice. are well in yeah. place. <laughs> Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. The neighbor may give challenge to Kurtve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Yes. That sounds Is like a boss fight. I think it might be a boss fight. Shut they rub my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. I wonder if, if they'll let me wear my the new bear hat in the boss fight. Non interfere. And if Kurtwish should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. I think we should go for it. Yeah, I'm re ready? ready. Yeah. Today, my blade must do the work of schools. Sharp yeah, I think scissors. I think we're gonna be a Cut like a bloodthirsty Avor today. Sigurd Horson, slink around my walls like. Oh, he's going down. Face me here now. The fight is mine, Kjotve. Seeger is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me. This. This is my father's ship. Well, Max, I hope you brought enough berries. I absolutely. I think. Is that some I over there? There might be some around here. here. Look, worst comes to worst, I'm going to eat one of these birds. Breaker. You totally can't do that. I'm just kidding. I will make you beg. Let's see if I can wolf kiss. figure this out. Squeal as your mother squeal. My blade will drink your blood. Your flesh will feed my wolf. Lots of graphic imagery here. There's gonna be some. There's gonna be some graphic 
action. Ooh, the um, their breath looks great. In the oh yeah, I love that. In the cold, yeah. Love the numbers flying out. Oh. Oh man. So the red ones, oof. Red ones are not gonna get parried, but if we get a nice sort of Oh. He just kind of swatted that away. Yeah. Oof. You have to wait till like right after he strikes. And a well-timed dodge will give you a. I don't know if that's a skill you unlock, but eventually you can do a little bit of sort of slow slow down effect. Oof! Should have parried. That. Oof! Rug berries. Are there berries? Help me, sweet. Okay, there are delicious berries <laughs> to help me in these dire times. It's definitely not the most, um, you know, badass move there to just like <laughs> just <laughs> eat a fistful of berries. somewhere yeah there you go you're yeah doing I haven't... A, you're doing a very good job oh thanks I was that a was that a bear or a berry joke I mean it's open to interpretation it really goes either way yeah. yeah oh no all right well he wasn't wild about wow. that little, <laughs> little cheap shot I took there I moved to a new stage Ooh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Usually, assassins are better at doing that. He's an apprentice. You gotta you know, give him a break. You father's child. Almost got him down. It's a good time for. Oh, he discovered that. I was. I was <laughs> yeah, on the ground. Oh, oh my God. Okay, so he's oh, using whoa. wow dead bodies yeah. as weapons there. Got him right now. We're good. Nice. Your lives are forfeit. Come forward if you must. Into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorm. His debts repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit. Archer, take aim. Ravens, show. Archers, fire! Hmm. Yeah, don't even get a rest after that boss fight. Oh, we're gonna climb a ladder here. That's easy. Let's just let's just get some berry. Oh, we've got plenty of rations. May I? <laughs> Excuse me. 
Oh boy. Right. Oh, okay. A lot of stuff going on here. I wonder, do I need to open the gate? I think so, yeah. As usual, you have to do most of the heavy lifting. There we go. Okay. Come on. Oh, come on in. All right, everybody. Oh, hey. Hey, cheap shot. So the thing about Odin is that he's the god of a lot of different things to the point that if he shows up, it's kind of like... He's the he's the I think he's the god of death, but also the god of victory. Which is, you know. It's, it's he's kind of a jack of all trades. Yeah, it's like if you see him on the battlefield, is it because you're about to die or because you're about to win? It's kind of an odd yeah. odd one like that. But he is, of course, known for uh, his association with ravens, so being part of the Raven clan is good stuff. Oh boy, who's that? Oh, what is what is that? Is it just like a rock on a string? Woe bringer. That's a good name. Nope. Uh, so yeah, the glowing arms is that uh, a signal too? That is. It's in there. You got it. Oh, all right. I did not roll properly there. Oh. There we go. Wow, cool. Whoa. Oh, so we gotta get over here. Let's go in this treehouse. What's your plan? Are you going to try to uh, get the drop on someone? I'm trying to get... Hold on, I'm just getting... I might need to up the brightness on my, my little TV over here. Hey guys, knock it off. That's enough of that. You'll shoot your eye out. <laughs> oh, that just knocked his head right oh, off. Cool. So, beheading. Beheading, dismemberment, Confirmed. of that. I do love the uh, the sort of camaraderie of having a bunch of you know a bunch of my my crew with me. I'm gonna go fight Gorm. Out with the guys, getting into trouble on a Friday night. Yeah, just a good old good old fashioned <laughs> uh, uh, ruining all of their stuff. <laughs> So as you can see in the sort of in the lower left there, that circle filling up around my around that number is the amount of basically the amount of rations I have. And so you know it's not just like one berry per per heal. These things. Just go in here. These guys are going at it, having a good time. Okay, let's see. My pursuit of vengeance has made you predictable. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But Gorm got away. He which got is, away. Uh, yeah. Hey, boys. We have the day. Let the car What's up? Go. Hey, boy. The breath of battle rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped and fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that Bruce take run where he <laughs> Now shoot for America. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. Bruce Piglet is a good one. Mm -hmm. grow to be a dangerous wolf. Hey, Bud, stop. I have a sneaking suspicion that Gorm might prove to be a problem later on. Um, so yeah, I mean, spoilers, we're... We're heading towards Britain. That's the I think that's the goal is to go go and uh, 
settle a bit there, but yeah, set up our Ravensthorpe. Whose armor? Relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. You'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his holding at all extent. Tell him we will come. Clan Battle gathering. And singing songs of glory. It got sounds got menacing, but it's really just kind of a low key kickback, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to Father before he leaves for Harold's outing. All right, we will get back to the game in just a second. But first, if you were to guess what kind of side activities might show up in an Assassin's Creed game about Vikings, psychedelic trips, and rap battles might not be the first things that come to mind. But they're in there, and in much more historically accurate context than I just made it sound. Here are some of the activities in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. The life of a Viking is more complicated than you might think. What exactly does Eivor do when they're not raiding settlements and mashing heads? A lot, actually. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is chock full of a variety of minigames and activities all meant to flesh out the world, provide insight into Eivor as a person, and, well, have fun. Presented by Assassin's Creed Valhalla, available November 10th on Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Xbox One. Let us begin. Did you know that ancient Vikings invented rap battles? They called it flighting, and it was less 8 mile and more medieval rhymes about B.O. Oh, to beat such a braggart will surely be fun. During a flighting battle, you'll have a limited amount of time to select the best rhyming insult to shame your opponent and take home the gold. A louse. Brilliant. But maybe you prefer your games to be traditional games of chance. Orlog is a game of chance that sees Vikings duel by rolling dice and invoking the favor of the gods for that sweet, sweet gold. Sweet victory. And when you're not verbally backhanding the citizens of Raventhorpe, check out the great outdoors and head on over to the local watering holes to fish till your heart's content. Bring your haul back to Raventhorpe and cash it in at your local fishing hut for handsome rewards like weapon and armor schemes. The Vikings held a culture intricately interwoven with religion and mysticism. These beliefs and ideologies spring up throughout ancient Britain and hold very real power over Eivor and their people. That knowledge is something that the enemy Saxons will use to their advantage in the form of cursed symbols. These religious relics are crafted by the Saxons in order to keep the Vikings off their land. Think scarecrows, but way creepier as if that were possible. Your time in ancient Britain is rife with mystical mysteries scattered around the world. Explorers can partake in the local flora to explore some of Assassin's Creed Valhalla's more trippy elements. Take care. Or it is difficult to know what foes lie in wait beyond. As you traverse the world, Eivor can mark special locations through the puzzle-like crafting minigame of Building Cairns, an activity based in Gaelic origin meant to denote a sacred site, hunting grounds, and more. Whether it be games or exploring the outdoors, Assassin's Creed Valhalla has plenty to keep you distracted for hours on end. Just remember, you've got to get to that main quest again eventually. Assassin's Creed Valhalla will be available November 10th on Xbox Series X, Series S, and Xbox One. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is optimized for Xbox Series X, including supporting 4K resolution at 60 frames a second, and it leverages smart delivery, allowing access to both the Xbox One title and the Xbox Series X title when available. your Viking Saga on Xbox Series X. All right, we're back, and now we're in England. Uh, Max, what do we miss? How do we get here? Well, a whole lot of stuff happened. Uh, basically, there was some Viking infighting going on, and long story short, uh, Eivor has decided to hop on a boat and head to England in search of greener pastures, and I'm sure everything's just going to go fine. I think it's going to be totally smooth sailing, Good. and everyone in England's going to be totally cool with it. Great. That sounds awesome. Are we, uh, are we here in, in Ravensthorpe now? Uh, not quite. We've got. Uh, we are. We are arriving right now. This is. Okay. Uh, this is literally the beginning of of getting to Britain. So again, I gotta say, it's a really pretty game. I just keep right? being really impressed by the visuals. So uh, one thing that happened, and I, again, this is this is all choices that you can make. So your experience may vary, but uh, we may or may not have stolen a bunch of stuff from our dad uh, okay. to take to England. And, you know, 
He's not wild about that. Um, I thought I, I thought I didn't realize our dad was still alive. Our dad is the uh, is the king, uh, or he was a king. Hmm. It's a it's a whole it's a yeah, whole thing. Wow. Like I said, there's some there's some Viking politics going on. We can also check this out. This is great. Cool. Do this sort of panoramic view. So we're in England now. Uh, do we ever go back to previous locations, or is this this is a totally separate map? You know, I I honestly I don't know. Um, I've I've heard some rumblings that you may be able to go to some other some other locations um, from. I mean, the Vikings. The Vikings were known for getting around. You know, they would they would take their boats every which way. So, sure. if there's a place that Vikings have been known to go visit, then maybe you know that I think that might be a thing in this game. But the majority of this is set in uh, in Britain, of course. Merry old England. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, the light. And again, like this is I'm I'm playing this on like a. Not like a 4K HDR TV, but I really want to see what that looks like when hooked up properly. Yeah, that's insane. Oh man, this is yeah. See, yeah, this is this is the like I I don't know. I feel like so much of what draws me to an open world game is just like this is not just a game or a story. This is a place. Like you're going to visit somewhere, and I think so much of it is like what you know what will compel you to jump into this, and like this is just. I like this landscape. Like, I want to go. Mm. I want to go explore here. Yeah, I want to explore this world. Look there! What are they doing? What's going on over there? Oh. Baptism, Doug. Really so unfamiliar to me. Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. I love this whole fish out of water thing of just like yeah. a bunch of Vikings being like, what What are they doing? Are they drowning him? It's like, no, you fool. They're Christians. It's a baptism. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's obviously going to be a big thing is like the Vikings had their own, you know, their own deities and their own, yeah. uh, you know, pantheon of, of I guess yeah. they were somewhat, somewhat pagan, but yeah. Probably weren't too many Odin worshippers in England. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's also like a bunch of, you know, people wearing, you know, bear skins and giant boats showing up in your land and being like, we're going to set up camp here. Like, that's... Hold you know. on a sec. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. Mm. And I will be right... Sounds like a cool mission. No I love that they're just like they're like well, let's just cut the let's just get the chain down like what you know what? yeah no like, one will like, notice maybe, yeah <laughs> somebody put up a barbed wire fence well that won't look at the look at that crane cool all right all right so let's go and you know what let's just make a big mess let's oh, go. So are we not wearing our our bear head anymore where's my hat be careful now put on that hat. I also have a bunch of, well, a few skill points. I'll put on my. There we go. Why aren't you wearing it? Maybe. She... Oh, there's just a. Hey. Oh. You know what? I think we just we just decided we're not we're not doing the sneaky way. There's my new stomp effect. Oh wow! One. Yeah, that's pretty intense. Hmm. Yeah, so we've got some cool finishing moves now. Mm -hmm. Like it. Uh, I also like. There's a whole like I haven't. Like I haven't unlocked anything. Like you get some, you get some like crazy attacks, and there's a whole kind of loop to upgrading and everything, and or, or you know, building up your wow. special skill meter or whatever. Okay, wood flying everywhere. Yep. It's 
the power of next next gen, dude. It's just the boards <laughs> explode. <laughs> oh. Yep. Hey. Quit it. Oh man. No, oh, I can be an archer too. Oh, uh, well, maybe not. Yeah, now I'm just take your wallet. <laughs> All right, so I've. We that, must. I, that, we must release the chain. We're gonna steal their stew and just yeah. kill all their guys. <laughs> like, why wouldn't they want Vikings here? What could go wrong? Like, why would they not be welcoming <laughs> to this exciting new group of colorful new, visitors? Yeah, new neighbors. This chain is huge. For the anchor, it appears, I might be able to shoot it. Wait, the axes wouldn't work, but an arrow will? What am I doing? Yeah, I guess I've... Aha. I think they were planning to use the axes on the chain itself. Got it. But I'm targeting these delicate spools. That's nice. You even get like a realistic splash of the chain falling into the water. <laughs> hey, oh, just embarrassed myself in front of all the guys. All right, everybody, let's go... Get back to my seat. I like that they're all sort of on a big field trip, you know? Like, mm -hmm, they're just... Mm -hmm. One guy's doing a Sudoku. Like, they're just... <laughs> Kind work. I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. We should have sent word ahead of us. Singer. It's just like it's so pleasant and mm -hmm. just and like pretty. And then I go in there and I just kill people with an axe. You know, it's just <laughs> video games, Listen, man. Who's who's this other person that's rowing by? Pig tender Probably just, are they not worried about this giant Viking That's a warship? good question. Yeah, I feel like they might be a little bit concerned. Yeah. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Deck? Uh, I fear for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What What's giants? this view? The great Romans and their empire. This is uh, it's just the different different camera them. angles you can, they you know, because there's a lot of you can do the sort of I don't know what you call it, like the the. Landscape. Cruise control for your yeah, boat, where you just kind of... It's like a cinematic mode. Mm -hmm. And there's also, there are Viking songs, and also mm -hmm. stories. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, God. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady There it is. Sigurd, hold back. Something is right. Uh oh. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find? No. Let us get a closer look. Yes. <laughs> All right. We got to sneakily row on in there. I'm not even driving this. This is this is just. All right. All right. I got a bad feeling about this. Nah, I'm sure it's fine. There, it's you know. Everyone's probably just out Who are these men? shopping or something. Accents. English, no doubt. Doc, Avon, on me. Oh, they're just having the—they're having a good time. 
Having a laugh. Trying on some hats. <laughs> oh, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? Hmm. You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best well, that's move along, fair. pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrals, <laughs> and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish well. them! We are really just picking a fight here. Yeah. No, this was. Oof. Oh, what? Oh, what? Threw sand at me. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Uh, they fight dirty. Brutal. Oof. It's. You can get a little bit hectic there, but. I, I want to step on him. I want to stomp him. Oh, missed it. Oh. Take out some archers. Or oh man. Guys. Not even an archer, a slingshot guy. Oh, yeah, that. Uh, wow. I like that. I think different. Uh, Sort of different factions will fight differently, and mm. bandits will uh, not exactly be the most s s sporting. Bandit's gonna bandit. Yeah. Kill the uh, is that everybody? Did we get it? I want no more surprises. Right. I will check the longhouse. Quite a quite a large longhouse. It's a long house, man. Yeah. It's a really just a big one. Is there like a air conditioning vent or something I can go through? <laughs> Took a little bit of fall damage. Thankfully, not not too bad, because there you know there are those occasional jumps you just yeah don't quite, don't quite pull off. I suspect a, a skill point could be spent at some point to oh, remedy yeah. that. The hell, other side. It's a really big house. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there's a. Uh, they put up some Halloween decorations. Mm -hmm. Might be something inside. Ooh, spooky. Who are you? Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men are prisoners. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. Oh. I like your spirit. I have a good feeling about okay, this. Okay, so. I guess this is, I think this is going to become Ravensthorpe? Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home. And we, I guess it comes with a, a stable hand. Apparently, yeah.
fine work. A long house. Look at that. They're all settled in. It's got a nice yeah. new, nice new long house. The, yeah, the rugs on the floor. Now come. Rankin's that I just knowing what I know about Rankin's. Vikings and how they like to <laughs> drink beer and party and stomp around. I just, I just think rugs are just a bad. Like I would go with, you know, hardwood, and it's maybe peanut years. shells. Mercia, Who's this now? East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. She is maps, one of the, the sons of Ragnar have pushed Vikings we came over with. Um, My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. I think I Where think she's from we? a different clan, and she's sort Here. of and this unnamed cups of trees. Kind of tagging along with her. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. I get it. Clever. That's so Ravensthorpe. I like it. <laughs> Over you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build, expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. What else have All right. So here is Ravensthorpe. We're home. Home sweet home. This is uh, this is our whole sort of, you know, base of operations. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, now we've got to go to, um, you know, just go to Ikea and just get some surge protectors and light bulbs and shelves, mm -hmm. you know, like to really just kind of yep. flesh it out. Except, or, you know, like we have to go back yeah. to where we came from for Ikea. Well, yeah, no, they haven't quite uh they haven't quite figured out modular furniture quite yet. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You told me the art of writing poetry, old friend. How about another lesson then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Oh, here we go. Should we do it? This is the yeah, flighting? Yeah, this is so this, this is the the rap, the rap battle. battle, yeah. Try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful mm -hmm. in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect so you can say something that rhymes, but it also might not make sense. My line. Mm -hmm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I'd tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Eh, hey, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. I didn't just like make a horrible win. threat. That's my <laughs> meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. <laughs> I will make you regret what you've taught me today. I look forward to becoming far more than you can bear. A good rhyme. Oh but no. A bad structure. Close. Panicked. You're close. Your flighting's astounding. You're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Elvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. Sweet. Up to my charisma. Living in the longhouse, I feel like a Jarl. <laughs> Not a bad place, Avery. Okay, what else can Not we get up to in Ravensthorpe? Can I help? So here's Gunner. He, I 
think wants to open a forge, but Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good. How oh, I miss those days, ransacking and pillaging, blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you're the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge. <laughs> it's not. That's not proper axe safety. One bit. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of. Ooh, a treasure map! Huts. I'm into it. Yes. Nice. I'm honestly, I really want to just go running around and exploring, but you know, you always gotta, take gotta take in all get, the make info. things, make things settled at home. You know, mm -hmm. get your to-do list. All right. Uh, I guess we need the we need the ship. It's my boat now. Wrong end. And your ears and listen all. The good of all right. Our it is time we go a Viking. Let's go. Uh, I was, I was expecting a rhyme. That tomorrow we may build. That is the problem with fighting, is then you think that all the dialogue. Like like, hey, the birds roam now. The monasteries will be well gone. Ah, by nothing more than priests and all right, so we need to go a raiding. Yeah, we're gonna go. For resources. Uh, we're gonna go raid a monastery, which I. I feel like maybe you know Viking warriors versus monks isn't really a fair fight, but uh. Yeah. Okay. That's the mythological thing, right? So we don't want to. Okay. All right. Time to raid. Look at that, we got the horn, everything. Let's just get in here, this is gonna be great. Cannonball! There we go. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. He's down, stop. Oh. Oh, that Warhammer guy just keeps getting me. I do really like that crippling and disabling mechanic. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it's uh comes in handy with tougher bosses and stuff. I love is there are um, there's some buildings that have smashable stained glass windows that you can just hmm. go right through. Oh, I, well, they're just gonna set it on fire then. Hmm. All right, let's just move on with this. I'm excited to get uh, a big heavy axe of that, like that of my own. Like you can break their shields. 
get a little bit better at the pairing here. Oh, these guys keep coming in. There we go. Better. Oh, so this is, yeah, this is a slightly tougher. There we go. Nice. Ah. There we go. Stop doing stick stuff. <laughs> wow. Good as new. All right. Oh boy, somebody else took a took a fall over here too. Oh man, our oh yeah, they're all down. Our guys are all down. Oh no. So they they aren't just like invincible. Ah. Help me. Help. Oh, he's totally dead. Uh oh. Is he? Oh no, he's cool. Okay, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. You're okay, you're fine. All right, up and at him. There we go. All right. Ah, what's going on in here? Oh, they need help. Get some like, treasures. Yeah, a lot of resources. Mm-hmm. We Weird place to keep that stuff, but sure, why not? It's like our golden, golden treasure chest, <laughs> filled with tools. <clears throat> what was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire. To a town called Repton. Wow, what a hey, what a name. I expect you to join. I yeah, I'm I'm amazed he um I can come now. I only I mean I guess he doesn't have to read it out loud. He probably yes. just heard someone say it. First speak with Randri. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. So Dag is going to be sort of our second in command, I guess. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Oh, no. He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from I thought Dag was cool, but he's not at all. <laughs> How are you going to do us like that, Dag? Uh, all right, Max. Let's take a little break right there. We are going to get right back to more Assassin's Creed Valhalla in a moment. While we've seen plenty of combat in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, there's way more to see. Combat can be approached a number of different ways in Valhalla, but it's a game about Vikings. Taking a big, loud, berserker approach is fully encouraged, and the melee combat is more brutal than it's ever been. Let's take a look. Vikings are known for their aggressive fighting styles. So how's Assassin's Creed Valhalla adapting to showcase their historically powerful fighting techniques? Presented by Assassin's Creed Valhalla, available November 10th on Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Xbox One. The triumphant might of Vikings is the shining star in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Battles have been altered to emphasize the moment of impact, transforming every swing into a chance to shatter shields, dismember, and decapitate foes. And you'll have plenty of weapons to choose from. Assassin's Creed Valhalla puts long swords, claymores, axes, and more in Eivor's hands to wreak havoc. And when a job requires a more elegant solution, the hidden blade. 
Dual wielding has been overhauled to place an emphasis on mixing and matching the game's axes, swords, and more to complement your playstyle, the way one might pair cheese and wine. If you're more to the old sword and board, then fear not. Pair a shield with your preferred weapon so that you can block your way to victory. But a Viking's got to adapt to any situation that may arise in the heat of battle. For the enemy just out of swinging range, consider the throwing axe. But if you like to get up close and personal, close the gap with a devastating bull rush. But not all situations can be solved with brute force. Some encounters require a little finesse. Armed with a bow, Eivor can target enemy weak spots to bring a foe to their knees where you can finish them off in a manner worthy of a warrior. Other abilities Eivor can unlock include hiring a deadly wolf friend with the appropriately named skill Wolf Friend, or add some pizzazz to your quiver full of arrows with a touch of poison. But inevitably, you won't be the only one dealing damage. Survive enemy attacks with a huge array of armor and gear to keep Eivor safe, and of course, style him. And you won't be fighting alone. Raid enemy encampments with your fellow Vikings, working together to take down fortresses, gates, and whatever else lies in your path to claim ancient Britain. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is doing much to change the perception of combat by doubling down on the Vikings' historically accurate and brutal fighting style. Just, uh, be careful where you swing that thing. Assassin's Creed Valhalla will be available November 10th on Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Xbox One. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is optimized for Xbox Series X, including supporting 4K resolution at 60 frames a second, and it leverages smart delivery, allowing access to both the Xbox One title and Xbox Series X title when available. Write your Viking saga on Xbox Series X. All right, we still have a little bit of time left to spend in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Max, I know we're excited to explore, so let's get out there. Yeah, let's do it. So here's the map right here. It is, as you can see, pr pretty big. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a big one. So let's uh, let's hop on our horse and just let's just let's just go. Let's just go yeah. on an adventure. My horse is way over there. Come on, let's go. All right. North? Does North North sound good to you? Sure. Why not? I'll see what I can do. I love all the uh, the lush foliage. Oh, I fell off a cliff. Uh -oh. oh no! <laughs> Maybe not. Look at these beautiful wildflowers. Mm -hmm. And we've got our Odin site to sort of scan the general area. Let's uh. Put up a waypoint and see what's going on here. Well, why don't we let's let's go check out a tower for starters. I'm sure we yep. might run into something on the way, but that's a good it's way to kind of classic get our Assassin's bearings. Creed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a fox. Well, <laughs> some kind of little critter. Oh. Nope, don't do that. <laughs> Poor horse. Ooh. I think I got bit by a snake. That was weird. Alright, let's get up here and find out what's going on. Here we go. There we go. There it is. There it is. Yeah. It'll give us an idea of what to go do. I guess we let's could always go. Uh, try to follow more of the main story. Yeah, let's see what the main story is doing. All right. Let's see what Ron V's up to. camera mode there. Hmm. 
Round view, where are you? Are you in the longhouse? Did I? Mm. Okay. <laughs> really need to. It's just put in more doors. more doors for the longhouse. Yeah, I th I think it's probably an insulation thing. You know, they really just want to keep the draft in during yeah. the winter months. All right. You back here. All right, here we go. Hey, how's it going? There you are. You wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances, ironclad, with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where yeah, it probably would make... It would, would help to make some friends and not just interesting news and do axe stuff and, and yell a lot. And my bearings in his fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leather to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning so yeah, this is throughout the cities of England. This is story mode Let's stuff, but... See what he needs. Aha! I want to see so in addition to raiding them. monasteries, we also want to try to make some friends. So we Just got two power. choices right now. All right. Uh, let's do... That one looks cooler. Grand, Grand of Bridgeshire. A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grantebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. Well, that's not good for the table. Yeah. That's what... <laughs> I will leave right, right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow. Animus door. Hmm. Where are we headed? We're headed down here. We're gonna hop in our boat. Oh yeah, my rations are full. All right, all aboard, boys. Let's go and make some new friends. Mm -hmm. Come on. To the Swan Road. Need to row our way out. It's, I think, unsurprisingly, getting these many people to flip around it takes a second. <laughs> Sail out! All right. No, that's, yeah. No. It's much easier. Come on. Come on, go, go. No, no, don't, don't. I'm just doing, I'm making a real wreck of this. So you can totally later on customize your boat mm. and make it look, in my opinion, way cooler. Like this is a nice boat and everything, but you can totally yeah. cover it with like deer skulls and stuff, which is this, uh, <laughs> this boat is basic. This is yeah, this is a you know your average kind of starter boat. It's just you know kind of an economy boat. Just 
because some dude's fishing over there. Something, something's looking at us. Mm -hmm. a nice scenic trip down the river. Right. All right. So now, hop out. Jump in the water, make a mess. Oh, uh, it's where are we trying to go. Yeah, just dead ahead there. There's just a lot of birds, just really yeah. birds everywhere. <laughs> Randy mentioned this place, the last known location of the Summer Army. <gasps> Have a look, Sunan. Where are you? Oh. Cool. Some nice and spotting that way. Is this. Someone? Hi. Hey, what's up? Hey! Oh, that sorry. Hey. It's like walk, walking in your friend. So these people are friendly for now. There we go. We gotta talk, talk to the leader here. Hey, what's going on? Hail. What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of waterland daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grantbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the chaos. So, so I like that, you know, you make enemies by going in and raiding a bunch of stuff and starting a fight, and you make friends by doing the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah. Just doing it, you know, to help someone out. Vikings. Uh... They just appeared in the city. It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Our Yarsko Masuma, she bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet. Ooh, the Fenlands. So a fen is like a swamp or a bog. Hmm. Where are we going? Where are we going? Just across the river. Okay. Are we gonna oh. steal back this longship? Oh. I don't know. That would be that'd be fun, probably. I think I'm just gonna hop on my horse and ride over there, though. So I think this is place they were trying to raid and then things went sideways. They got kicked out. Yeah. Mysterious warrior showed up and made a mess. That's not great for the boat. You should really get that out of there. Hey, what's going on, horse? How, how you doing? Countryside. Look at that. Come on. Alright, so we gotta look for her long ship around here somewhere. Go. There we go. Okay, so I was on the wrong side of the river. Sorry. Yeah. That horse, horse is gonna hate like me. It. 
One of these days I'm going to call that horse and he's just going to not show up. Yeah. I believe later on you can make your horse swim, or at least there's other less deep lakes that it's not really an issue. Uh-oh. Well. <laughs> oh, okay. That's, yeah, they, they don't want me taking the boat. There, a beached longship. Dane markings. Leave that sword like that. in there. I like that blood spray. Oof. Oof. Hmm? Hey, how are you doing? Oh. Hello. These guys and they will totally help me. Now. In step with me. <laughs> Again, wood just flying everywhere. Oh yeah. Oh, it's interesting big sleek colored go. puddle. It's the uh ah oh, yeah. I like that one. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. Those are let's get some good fun finishers. Stick dudes. Oh, too early. There we are. Yeah. So I cannot be far. I should have a look around. So we're sort of following the trail of corpses, which is cheerful, but you know, what are you gonna do? Just follow the follow the bodies. That's gnarly. Always a good idea. Why are they growing growing? No, glowing green. Um, you, you know, or so it's easier, know? easier to find. <laughs> okay. I think that's our Odin site giving us a little hint there. Gotcha. Warmth. So is she being held hostage or not? Stop some moss in that gash. Doesn't that seem like it. Egil. Egil, look at me. Remember the boars you fell our first day in England. Hold his arms. Nine. Large and fat. Better for a week. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Thanks. You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. I, I would have, you know, gone with an ace bandage or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Icy hot. Yeah. <laughs> you come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. We have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with it's good that she's washing her hands. It's good for a medical, you know, yep. professional. <laughs> Although I don't think she washed them for twenty seconds. Yeah, I don't. I yeah. For a friend, an ally. I see. 
I'm Soma, Lord of Grandbridge. Though it seems an order of lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients. Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grantbridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bena, Galin, leave. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them, and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Alright, let's go. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. It's a nice shot. Yeah, right. I like that there's some leftover, you know, Roman Roman ruins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I bet that doesn't smell great. Soma's gilded warriors home. Hmm. What was that about? So this guy's dead guy left a key here. <laughs> Just climb down the side of this gentleman's bottom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, let's go and I know find. What you must think. What must I think? That it's foolish to search the for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best. I love all the animals in this game. Where are these advisors? Just looks like there's one over here. Did we go past one? Let's head to that one. That one's closer. Uh oh, I think I, maybe the Viking approach might not be the best for the advisors' health, but whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, you're, you're free. You're free! Alright. Satisfying, but also just nice. Just Took his arm off. Just horrible. You gonna do it? Oh, is this guy still tied up? Oh, sorry. That's probably really rude of me to just untie all of his friends and just leave him there. Yeah. Okay, I've done enough of that. Let's get. about this land my friend all right so back that way yeah. to get lost in this fog this is so this is what i was kind of expecting when they're like oh it's set in you know medieval yeah. britain i was expecting a lot of rain and fog and gloom, swamps yeah, but, gloom. but you still get you know you get like beautiful sunsets and and wildflowers and you know plenty of color 
no. and herons just everywhere. Saxons surrounding that old hut. Let's find out where these guys are. Is that one of them? I think just that's just the. Oh, there's a little dungeon over here. I think. Saxons surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. Oh. He's making quick work of this. Eichmann. You guys want to go outside and fight a bunch of dudes with sticks? Because we can! Yeah. They're out here! Oh, come brothers. Let's end this. So when they're, when they're all flashing like that, it's because I have big fat thumbs and I accidentally did Odin Sight while we were... Hmm. Hey! Quit it. Thanks for helping, man. I appreciate it. Ah! Oh, did I? No. Oh, sweet. Okay. I ate some of my snacks. The shoulder bumped him. <laughs> Are we good? I think we're good here. It says you've, got, you've rescued two of the three. Yeah, one more over here at this waypoint, so... Get my poor horse, who's probably really sick of just being ridden into bodies of water. You know, I joked about it, but I think my horse just doesn't want... There, oh, there he is. Hey, let's go. Oh. <laughs> I can't... I, you can't tell how deep this... it is. There's, you know, lily pads. It could be, you know, three feet deep. Looks like it's over here. Wolves. They've surrounded someone. Huh. Must be careful. I'm gonna switch it up. Is this a side thing? I think this is a oh no, this is behind your shackles carry beasts. I don't deserve this. Leave me! Run! You okay? Come on, get up. All right. Cool. Yeah, so two people got, you know, they got captured by regular bad guys, and this guy just got stuck yeah. in a treehouse with wolves <laughs> trying to bite him. I mean, you didn't... Oh, the wolves are tough. I might just leave. Hi, wolves. Uh, I rescued well, him. They're good. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Didn't it's really not, rescue. Yeah. He's fine. It's just you know. <laughs> so there's a path. There's a path here. Can I follow this and then go. Where? <laughs> I might just ride into a river again. There's a very distinct possibility that's going to happen. And I'm back where there's bad guys. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, we know where we're going. It's a it's over tradition here. at this point. Yeah. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him <laughs> float or swim. when video games had fog because they couldn't render graphics far enough away and now it's like yeah 
Guess now what? They can just implement real yeah. fog. Here's like next gen actual fog. All right. I think she's gonna be my best friend now, which I think is great. Mm -hmm. Like we need more friends. Yeah. The beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow, our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna, and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you lead. I wanted to say something mean there. Point on. Yeah. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback, Galen, you look well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. He made you it back. He's fine. He's a little bit cross, but... <laughs> Thank you, Yarl's Corner. She's going to give him some moss, a nice poultice, <laughs> and he'll be okay. <laughs> it's good Twist his ankle back into place, what have you. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you call it. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. That scalp tattoo has got to hurt so bad. I lost yeah, so for sure. many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. All right. My blade is yours. For Grantbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits. And at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grantbridge. Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. All right, well rested. I like that they just gave us a brand new bed back at Ravensthorpe, mm -hmm. and it's like, yeah, I'll just sleep in this uh, shack with Looks black like mold on it. Voices followed the beacon back to camp. Okay, well, I need to talk to these guys. Galen, is that right? That's right. Should we head back to Ravensthorpe? Infinite fighter. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Many I don't know if we have time to do the whole Grant Bridge Sex mission, but clearly that's a. We all have our one day. Well, it's good to see. I think that's an undertaking. So. We gotta get this whole crew lined up. Let's, uh, yeah, let's head back to Ravensthorpe. Fast travel in the interest of time. I want to see what kind of gear we can unlock at Gunner's House of Amazing Blacksmithery. Mm -hmm. Just once I want one of the assassins to just slip, you know? Just yep. whoop, whoop. All right, here we are. Oh, look at that. We fixed the whole place up. Yeah. This is great. It's looking nice, yeah. And what? I would like to see what you have in stock. My bear hat is not cool enough. I want. Oh, I don't have enough to upgrade my bear hat. What can I do? Bow. Can I? Oh, can I upgrade? Here we go. Ooh. Some options here. Let's just try out a different hat. Ooh. Wow, it comes with its own card. Right? We got a, ru a rune slot for that? Let's uh let's try on some new outfits. We have I like to just imagine Gunner being like, here are your new bracers and also a collectible trading card. Your first, <laughs> after nine, the 10th is free. Um, all right, let's do the shield. That is a that is a cool shield. I like that a lot. Yeah, I like that one. All right, and so I think we need to go Ready to our inventory back. to, did I upgrade everything? What I? May I see your stores? Ah. Oh wow, I can keep keep upgrading it. Yeah, totally. Even though I've just been fighting with two axes. Probably shouldn't 
spend all of my resources. Done for now. All right, goodbye, Gunner. Thank you for the cool trading cards and awesome later. bracelets. Thanks, Be Gunner. Well, <laughs> See you next time. Um, okay, inventory. Let's. Where's our new hat? There we go. Some stealth damage, even though we've been mostly hitting people over the head with stuff. And our new. Yeah. It's mm. a good look. I feel like these boots are too hot for where we are now. <laughs> Thrall's Don't have breaches. sweaty feet. It's a good, good happy medium there. There we go. We've got our awesome new shield. Sweet. Well, why don't we go to bed for the evening? I feel like Eivor's had a very busy day here in the land of Valhalla. It's actually not Valhalla, it's Britain. But someday she'll <laughs> yeah. go to Valhalla. She can have some sweet dreams of going to Valhalla. But she's hacked off many a limb. She's failed many a foe in her, in her adventures in England. Well, that was a nice long look at Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Max, thank you so much for playing and let me, letting me be a backseat gamer with you today. Thank you for politely watching me try to ride a horse across a river repeatedly. You know, that's, <laughs> they don't always want to do that. How, how else is the horse going to learn how to swim? Exactly. Uh, you just got to throw them in the fire. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, remember, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will be available on November 10th on Xbox Series X and Xbox One. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is optimized for Xbox Series X, including supporting 4K resolution at 60 frames per second, and it leverages smart delivery, allowing access to both the Xbox One title and Xbox Series X title when available. For all things Assassin's Creed Valhalla, be sure to check out IGN.com. Write your Viking saga on Xbox Series X.